Here I am today. I'm going to show you how to enter some UTM coordinates into one of these basic eTrex models, one of the earlier ones. And uh, this is the eTrex that's uh, black and just has the black and white screen. First, you need to do is you need to turn on the unit, and you do that by pressing this button on the right side, and hold it down for a few seconds, and it'll turn on. And when it once it turns on, it'll be searching for satellites. If you're indoors it will not uh, be able of course to find a satellite this here uh, shows you currently that uh, I have a satellite and I have an accuracy of roughly about 8 meters plus or minus wherever I am now what I want to do is um, just to show you the button on the f upper side here on the right has lets you flip through your pages this is the navigation page the satellite page this is the page of your map okay and uh, the next page is the um, compass as, and the compass only works as you're walking okay and, and so it has northeast and southwest all that the next page is your page of menus and the following page is back to navigation so you see you only have four pages of that you have to flick through with this button on the top side okay so on this, on this page here, on the map page, keep in mind, if you want to zoom in or out on this page, sorry for the glare on the, from my uh, light, uh, and uh, use these two buttons on the side, up and down, uh, or uh, zoom in, zoom in, zoom out, okay? So if I zoom out, you will note, here I am now, if you look at the lower left-hand corner, it's 120 meters. And I keep on zooming out, and I'm now down to two kilometers out, and so on. Okay, I'm five kilometers out. So this is my zoom button, and then if I zoom the other way by using the lower one, I zoom in. So when you're looking for your uh, particular uh, tree or whatever, uh, you use these buttons to help you along the way. Now what we're going to do is add a waypoint. And we're going to mark it, okay? So if you can see here on the screen right now, 012 is a waypoint that is marked. So we're going to add a new one. And uh, I'll just show you uh, the process of doing that by pressing the page button and going to the menu that says mark and waypoints. Once you're there at this menu page, what I want you to do is choose enter button. And the enter button is on this side here and it is the bottom button uh, located right here so you press enter and then on the enter button what you're going to do is you're going to proceed and enter new UTM coordinates and you can see here that I have a down at the bottom I have some coordinates and to get there you use the up these are now up and down keys uh, and so I'm going to use the bottom one and I'm going to flick down to the, where the UTM coordinates are stated. So I'm down there, okay? Once I'm there, I press the enter button and I press that, okay? And now what it allows you to do is change your coordinates, okay? And so, and it says there, use the enter button to edit up and down buttons to select, okay? So now I'm going to use. Uh, the up, I'm using the up key uh, and the down key to m maneuver around. Okay, so the the up key makes me move to the left, and the the other key here, the the lower one here, makes me move to the right. So I'm moving along, and I'm going to change the coordinates. I'm just going to change one, but you could change the entire one here. This is my uh, northing is the first one here shown, and then so what I'm going to do is press. Once I am at the 5 there, I'm going to press the enter key. Okay, and I want to switch that to let's say 8. So what I do is I use again my down key. Okay, and I choose 8. That's what I want to switch it to now. Okay, and I press enter. And that's now kept. And now I will continue on and use my, uh, so excuse me, my the lower key to uh, continue on and I'm going to switch this 5 right there this 5 
I'll let's just switch to 2 and I'll make it 8 okay so I'll make that 8 so I press the enter key and I'm going to make that 8 so I go down the list okay press enter there it is and then once I'm happy of that okay I can uh, you can see there I can press the enter key okay whoops excuse me and use the down key okay and that gets me to OK and then I press OK so now I have a new UTM coordinate and then if I want to switch the name of it I go up okay and I can switch the name here I could press the enter key here and and I could name it something and just for the sake of time anyways you press the enter here and it would give you choices of numbers and letters as you scroll up and down using your up and down key here okay so let's just I'm just gonna switch it and call it one so there we go we got we have now one one three okay and then I'm gonna use a down key so I'm happy with that so I'm gonna press enter oops excuse me I'm going to use the key here and and then there we go okay so then I have okay so you just you keep on hitting the down key and then you you get out of there and once you're happy that I'm gonna have, you can even choose the flag or tree up here but for the sake of time let's just leave it as a little flag and then you press the okay button okay and now you have a, a marked a waypoint. So now, if you go to, if you go down to waypoints, okay, and you look for that one, you would find it uh, in your list, okay. And you you find zero nine, and go down that list, and there it is. You see, it's one one three, and you press enter. And then what you do is you say uh, go to and you press the enter and then there's you see you get now a compass and it says it's 604 meters away from me and it has a compass and besides that uh, besides that compass there uh, if you go again this button up in the top side here and you flip through your pages you will have uh, the the little guy here, and and if I scroll down here, I'm just I'm making this. Uh, there it is. You see how it says 113, and then the little man at the bottom of the screen. So it says that's where I have to go. So then you would walk in that direction, and to guide you along the way, as you have this north arrow, uh, and and that arrow will point you the way you're supposed to travel. Okay and that's how you uh, put in the actual UTM coordinate in these uh, more basic eTrex units alright and one thing to check before you start uh, is go to the menu page and make sure that under setup press the enter key make sure that when you look under units okay so when you select units on the menu page that you are you have the following as shown that it says UTM WGS 84 is your map datum your units are metric and that you have that your variance is 12 degrees west alright so just make sure all those things are there and and put in your UTM coordinate and you're good to go okay have fun uh, traveling around with your GPS